really. You must be this tall to ride. Michael Jackson would be very disappointed. A little, a little bit over. Other way. No, wait, that way. That way, up. <laughs> Since we were in 28204 last time and we were on that Pecan and 7th Street, which is like one of the major intersections in the 28204 zip code, we figured we'd just kind of head straight down Pecan and, and hit up the Plaza Midwood part of the zip code first. Since 28205 is such a huge zip code, uh, there's, there's a lot of different affordability throughout all the different neighborhoods in the zip code. From most affordable to most expensive, you kind of have like the, the Windsor Parks, the Plaza Shamrock, uh, Commonwealth, then you have like Markham Village and Country Club Heights and Villa Heights, and then at the top of the zip code you're going to see Noda and Plaza Midwood. It's so big, there's so many neighborhoods, we just figured it'd be a great opportunity to split this up into two pieces. In Windsor Park here, there's been a lot of growth. There's been over like 10% in the last year. Um, it's grown so much that I even personally bought a house in here. This is it right here. It's a really cool opportunity because there are so many different ranches, split levels, two-story homes, and they go anywhere from like the mid hundreds to about $400,000, with the average being around $283,000. This neighborhood actually is really popular for flippers as well, especially people who want to live in homes that have been renovated or flipped. So like we talked about with Kyle and with Trey that you guys have seen previously, um, being able to flip a home or renovate it, you can really get a great value out of it. And that's where this is a great value add type neighborhood. In the last year, there were 45 sales just in Windsor Park. So, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of homes, but they're all these like old 50s, 60s, 70s brick homes. That's why people like them because it's basically like, if you don't wanna be on the Madison Park, uh, South End, Dilworth side of town, it's like you can get that same style home over here and the price point is just so different than some of the similar neighborhoods on the other side of town. So we're actually walking right now down Pecan, which is the same street where we said the best walkability rating in 28204 was. Uh, we're on the other side of Pecan right now where it hits Central Avenue. Similar to being in 28204 in Elizabeth, if you want incredible walkability, you're gonna wanna look as close to this intersection of Pecan and Central Avenue as possible. This is where you wanna be if you're in the Midwood area. What's cool about Plaza is once you get about a block off Central Avenue where all the retail and restaurants are, you're literally in a residential area. And in Plaza, there were about 225 sales just in the last year. Now we're in front of my buddy James's duplex that he bought about a year ago over off of Briar Creek Road. We'll go see if he's home. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So we bought this about a year ago, last summer. Um, it was like mid-200s, I'd say. Mm -hmm. What would you say is like the, your favorite part about living right here off of Briar Creek Road? Yeah, I mean, what I really like about this neighborhood is, you know, really, I think this area is one of the other kind of pocket neighborhoods that are popping up around here, and I found that really cool. I think my number one thing would be the community of the people living here who have moved here. Mm -hmm. They've got a young crowd, it's a great culture, and all the neighbors are here to help each other out, so I've really enjoyed that. And it's also like super convenient getting around town because you can hop right on Briar Creek and Independence and you can get anywhere you want to go. You know, the accessibility, that was one thing that surprised yeah. me by moving here. I didn't know how accessible the Plaza Midwood area was, and specifically right here, right off Briar Creek. Yeah. Getting into all the neighborhoods from this area is actually a lot easier than 
you know, where I used to be at in South End, it was, it was actually more difficult to get to all the other areas. That's interesting. I guess I never really thought yeah. about that. What would you say is like your favorite spot over here? It's a tough one, man, but I think it's gotta, gotta be Soul Gastro Lounge. Yeah. That's, that's one of my favorite spots over here, mm -hmm. still to date. And Tattoo, the new speakeasy that they opened up inside of Kiki, um, mm -hmm. is really awesome too. And I used to travel over here from South End to here uh, just to go there, so. You say travel like it's far. Yeah. <laughs> So when we went, it was like old fashions for the month and you get to choose from like eight different types of crazy old fashions. Yeah, it was really cool. I appreciate you letting me stop by. Uh, it's just cool to come by and see how people are doing and see how you start to move in and kind of live in the, the house that you bought about a year ago. Uh, but I've got a very busy schedule today, so I got to get out of here. All right, but dude. I'll good see you later. You, yeah, good to see you too. too. Over here, we're like on the outskirts of Villa Heights. We're kind of right on like Berry Street and Parkwood. On Berry Street, there's a lot of new construction going on. You can see Vista Homes is doing a lot. There's a lot of townhomes and duplexes that are going up for sale right now. Down the street, David Weekly has a couple other projects that are going up. Um, but one of the cool things about Villa Heights is that there is a proposed road diet back here on Parkwood, which basically means they're going to go from four lanes down to two. With the road diet, what that's going to do is it's going to decrease a lot of the road noise out here. It's also going to allow for them to build more retail out around this area because Villa Heights is such a residential part of this 28205 zip code that once they have this road diet, they'll really be able to increase the amount of retail and restaurants and some of those kinds of things in this part of town. There's a handful of builders who are building new construction communities in the Villa Heights area. A lot of them are gonna be like townhouses and duplexes, about four to six or $700,000. So if you get a $400,000 townhouse or a $500,000 duplex, you know, you're getting new construction in the area. So we're in Villa Heights now. Uh, some friends of mine, Zach and Sarah, live right here, and we're gonna go kind of just check out what they like about the neighborhood and see how they like their house. What's up, guys? Hey, How's it going? Yeah. This was a for sale by owner that you guys saw the sign for, and we kind of helped kind of work together and put the deal together. And I mean, there wasn't even floors in here other on this island. It was a really interesting experience, but like just being in Bill Heights, what would you say is like been your favorite part so far? Well, some of the things about the area in particular that we like is, um, you know, there's still quite a neighborhood feel, but in kind of an urban setting. So we can walk to multiple bars and restaurants and then can get on the Greenway and Cordelia Park within minutes, which has been really nice about the area. Um, and I think the biggest pleasant surprise about the neighborhood is just how much of a community there is. Like mm -hmm. the day we moved in, multiple neighbors came over and introduced themselves. You know, we borrowed countless tools from <laughs> neighbors, so it's just much more of a community than I expected. I expected everyone to be nice, but not, not. as helpful yeah. as they actually are. Yeah, exactly. it's kind of like this talked away neighborhood off the busy roads, but then you're still, you know, five minutes from town, five minutes from the, the hospital, like everything. So it's like great, kind of like in the way, but mm -hmm. you still so neighborhood feel with like that urban city vibe. What would you say has been your like favorite spot? Either the hobbyist, just like a coffee shop and what would you call it, the coffee and- And bottle shop and, and bar. Shop, yeah. And yeah. So that's, mm -hmm. that's a pretty cool place and they have some live music every once in a while, or mm -hmm. used to, uh, pre-COVID-19. <laughs> uh, and then Free Range is also right next door um, that, that we go and visit. Mm -hmm. and that's probably only a couple minutes down the street from here. Yeah, yeah so walk, easy, of, easy like, walk. Five walk. Yeah. All this time about the hobbyist now, I think I'm going to have to go get some coffee. So on that note, I appreciate you letting me stop by. Absolutely. And it's good Great to see to you guys. See you good to yeah. see you. Yeah, you too. We are at the end of part one of our 28205 tour. We are in front of the hobbyist right now, which is right here in Villa Heights, between Villa Heights and Noda, um, which is a perfect place to stop because next time we are gonna be going through Noda. So be sure to tune in. By the way, if you like this video, please 
please be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. And if we're on Instagram, make sure you swipe up. Any of your support is greatly appreciated.